Okay, here we are, Sunday morning. Uh, 25 past 8. I'm not usually up and active this time, time on a Sunday morning, but uh, here we go. This is a special weekend. Uh, according to the Met Office, it's raining, and I can assure you it's right. It's uh, definitely peeing down out there. So, okay, so uh, our next random video will be number 30. I think we had that one yesterday, didn't we? Yes, the TE1. Oh well. Why is my computer a bit slow this morning? Okay, let's have another go. 56. Cell 1540, standard. Okay, that's a nice one. It's my favourite cell. To the kitchen table. Okay. I won't bother with the overflow plug because I know it's actually too high. I can't remember how much this takes. So I'll do my usual trick. Fill it up to the top. And remove some. So that's just about a hundred millilitres to the top. So if we remove twenty-five mil, that's three quarters. Oh, she looks all right. Same trick for the meths. Alright, so that's just over 20, so if we remove 5.
Right. A bit of oil. So we'll put a few drops in there. and free. Okay, just wait for steam now. Nearly there. These little cells don't take very long to uh, get up to pressure. Obviously three quarters four was uh, still too much. Uh, I think we've put out one of the wicks. We've now got a wet wick. <laughs> Yeah, well, it runs with one wick. Less likely to prime anyway. These things run so well, so smoothly. I don't you really need one wick. Cells are you know, all over the range, they're beautifully made, beautifully designed. Uh, perhaps one wick is not going to be enough. Okay, 
I'll see if I can dry that other wick out and get it going properly. Back soon. Okay, I've actually swapped the wick with uh, one from another of the cell engines. So, uh, now back to two wicks. some of this water. Go again. Top two models of the cell range have uh, Bakelite engine frames. I think that contributes to the uh, smooth running. This particular model has the two-sided version of the base means that uh, it's folded down on two sides as the front and the rear side. I'm not sure whether this is earlier or later than the four-sided version. I think it's later. Probably a cost-cutting exercise. The four-sided versions are folded down on all four sides, which would have been a bit more expensive to produce. It has a very distinctive shaped uh, safety valve and in fact that plunge at the top is the same uh, bus part as the piston. So that uh, makes machining a bit uh, easier, there's only one part to make. Although some of the pistons were actually made of uh, aluminium instead of brass, I don't know which ones this one's got. These things really run well. Great example of good old fashioned, simple but well engineered British engineering. Which for a toy is, is unusual, let's, let's say. Very small cylinders, so they don't use much steam, so they go on quite a long time. And as you can hear, very, very smoothly. Give it a drop more oil on the bearing. I think it needs it, but. 
that's joining us, so we won't do any harm. Reduces wear even if it doesn't increase performance. Nasty feeling we've run out of water because burners are still going. Yes, so I think we must have lost a lot of water when it uh, started priming at the beginning. But anyway, that was a cell standard.